Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about RIM main unit, which is also known as RMU in short form. So let's start this video. First question arises that what is ring main unit? Ring main unit is a switchgear unit, which is generally be in the secondary or medium voltage power distribution site. Okay, this consists of circuit breakers, fuses and disconnector. The main purpose of ring main unit is to enhance the reliability of the power and reduces the power interruption time. Ring main unit is used for isolating the faulty part of the distribution network in order to do maintenance but in the same time it will supply the power to the load by using the alternative feeder for that duration. In order to understand the ring main unit, we have to have some basic information regarding the radial circuit and ring circuit. So as we know, when the supply is coming from the distribution board to the small 13 ampere socket and the flow is from one direction, okay, the from FDB, FDB to sockets. So the flow of power is from one direction. So that circuit arrangement is a radial circuit wiring. But suppose this 13 ampere sockets are connected with the final distribution board in such a manner that it will initiate from the distribution board to each socket and it will end also to the distribution network. So if suppose any power supply fail due to any fault in the wire, the power supply will still reach to all of the socket. How? The power supply will reach to this socket by this way and the power supply will reach to these sockets from this direction. Even though there is a fault in the wire, the power supply will still reach to all the sockets. So this is the importance of ring. But in case of radial, suppose if there is a fault happening here, then the power supply will come to this socket and after that all these sockets will be disconnected from the power supply. If you clearly understood what is radial circuit and what is ring circuit, then you can easily understand what is ring main unit. Now, instead of 13 ampere socket, we connected a distribution transformer in a radial circuit manner. In a normal condition, when the feeder is healthy, load is healthy and the distribution network is healthy, the power supply will reach to every transformer, right? But suppose there is a fault happening in the distribution network then what will happen from the substation or from the feeder the power supply will go to first transformer but as the cable has been cut here so there will be a black blackout in sub in the transformer 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is not a reliable system there will be a cutoff for the power supply for all other transformers moreover to it the radial connection of this transformer is not practically possible. Why? Because the transformer have HV winding buses and LV winding buses. The power supply will come from one feeder to the HV winding buses and it will transfer the power to the LV winding bushes. But in order to connect the other transformer through the previous transformer, it is not practically possible because the HV winding bushes are not capable to take the other cable of the next transformer. In this case, transformer one bushes need to connect another cable in order to give power supply to the HV winding bushes of the trans second transformer and it will be carried out to the third transformer. This arrangement is practically not possible. Okay. The third thing, suppose we make some arrangement, we make some arrangement of tapping for each transformer and we make one feeder to another feeder through such arrangement. But any fault in the transformer will affect the other transformer because there is no any protection devices between the transformer. Any short circuit happened at the load side of the transformer 2 will affect the transformer 1, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which is not reliable. Anywhere any fault happen in any of the transformer will affect all other connected transformer in the radial system and it will create the blackout. Now let us take an example of ring system. Here we connected transformer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in a ring manner. 
either we can connect all the transformer with one substation without considering substation b so the power will come in the normal condition power will come to the transformer 1 transformer 2 transformer 3 transformer 4 5 and 6 okay suppose any fault happen here even then the all transformer will get power how suppose there is a cable damage here so from this feeder power will be reached to this transformer at tran for the transformer number one this way and for other all transformer the power will reach from this direction so this is reliable there is another way to make a ring circuit formation in this case we will use two substation or two feeder so in the normal condition suppose substation 1a is running then the power supply will reach from substation 1 substation a to transformer 1 transformer 2 transformer 3 transformer 4 transformer 5 and transformer 6 and suppose there is a fault happen in between transformer 2 and 3 the cable damaged here due to any excavation issue now in this case substation 1 will provide power to transformer 1 and transformer 2 and substation b will run and substation b will provide power to transformer 6 transformer 5 transformer 4 and transformer 3 but this arrangement is also not practically possible why i will let you know suppose this damage we need to repair the damage happened so we need to do maintenance and we have to repair this cable now the end of this power cable and the this power cable need to be shut down in order to shut down we have to shut down this substation because power is reaching till here and power is reaching till here so without shutting down these two substation we cannot repair this cable if we will shut down there will be a blackout in all the transformer connected load like one two three four five six so this is not also a reliable system though it is connect connected in our ring formation in order to avoid this problem we introduce ring main unit which is a mv switch gear now let us discuss about the mv switch gear in order to solve this problem i will give you another case suppose the problem happened not in the feeder line let me delete the feeder all this feeder line is healthy just for a while consider this feeder line is healthy the problem happened in the transformer line or in the load line both the cases in this cases the substation a will provide power to 1 3 4 5 and 6 and substation b is ideal not running in order to do the maintenance to solve this faulty problem we need to again shut down the substation a because the power is reaching till here and there is a fault power is reaching till the fault so in order to do the maintenance we have to de-energize in order to de-energize we need to shut down this substation a if we will shut down again the trans all transformer will have no power and the blackout situation will arise in order to avoid all these difficulties we introduce ring main unit so let us discuss about this this is the appearance of ring main unit which can be changed based on the manufacturer and brand okay but all of the ring main, un ring main unit will have the same schematic okay here you see there is one disconnector there is another disconnector and there is disconnector with the circuit breaker arrangement so this is the sld for the every ring main unit every basic ring main unit will have this arrangement that one compartment will have the disconnector okay one compartment will have the circuit breaker and disconnector arrangement and another compartment will have again disconnector we will add this main ring main unit in the this ring arrangement of the transformer and we will check how we solve the problem which we discussed earlier in order to understand that ring circuit how the ring main unit will solve the problem of maintenance without disturbing the other feeder we have to understand understand how to connect the ring main unit with the transformer so this cable will come this cable will come from the another ring main unit and this cable will feed to another ring main unit okay and one cable will feed to transformer as i told you there is three connection point here here and here 
So with the disconnector switch, there will be a power supply from the previous ring main unit or from the feeder. And to the another disconnector point, the power supply will transfer to other ring main unit. And the feeder, the breaker with disconnector will feed transformer. So here is the same arrangement. The cable will come from previous ring main unit or from the feeder. The This cable will go to next ring main unit and one cable will connect it to the transformer which have circuit breaker and disconnector arrangement. But this cable and for this cable there is only disconnector switch. There is no circuit breaker for the for this cable and for this cable. Only for the transformer there will be a disconnector and circuit breaker. Now let us add this ring main unit in our this ring circuit of the transformer and let us analyze it. In order to simplify the thing I connected first three transformer here one two and three with the ring main unit. This is the SLD for ring main unit. This is first ring main unit. This is second ring main unit. This is third ring main unit. And there is substation 1 and substation 2. This is the simplest form of arrangement. We will discuss this one and then we will jump to that ring main unit which is actually existing in the practical cases. Suppose the system is healthy, substation 1 is running and substation 2 is in ideal state. Now the power will flow from substation 1 okay to this ring main unit okay it will feed this transformer it will feed this tra this transformer and it will supply power to the other ring main unit again this ring main unit will feed this transformer and it will supply power to the other ring main unit and again this ring main unit will supply power to this transformer and if there is a another ring main unit it will supply power to another ring main unit or we can isolate this dis disconnector to stop the power supply here. Okay. Now this is about the normal condition. Suppose there is a fault in between the two ring main unit feeders. Suppose there is a fault here. Okay. Between two ring main unit. Now how we, how this ring main unit will solve this problem. We'll see that one. Before cases, in before case without ring main, ring main unit, if there is a fault in that feeder in that cable which is connecting one transformer to another transformer in order to do the repair work or maintenance work we have to shut down the substation one as the power supply is available here at the damage cable so in order to do the maintenance we have to de-energize in order to do energize there is no this there is no arrangement of the ring main unit so in order to do is de-energize we need to shut down the power substation but now let us suppose there is a ring main unit now in our system and there is a fault happened here between ring main unit 1 and between ring main unit 2. So the power will run from substation 1 to this transformer. Okay. And we will disconnect this switch. We will disconnect this switch here and here. We will open the switch here. And we will run substation 2. The power will transfer to this substation and to this ring main unit from this direction and it will feed the power. And meanwhile, as we disconnected this switch and this switch, there is no power between this this connector point to this connector point and any maintenance team will come and he can do the maintenance right now let us take another example this time fault not happen fault not happen in between the ring main unit 1 and 2 it is happening somewhere here in the transformer level side so what we will do we will disconnect this circuit breaker and disconnector in order to disconnect this transformer from the system then the power flow will be from substation 1 to another to this ring main unit and this ring main unit will transfer the power to this ring main unit and this ring, ring main unit will provide power to this transformer 2 and it will pass the power to other ring main unit which is ring main unit 3 and this ring main unit will supply power to transformer 3. So here now there is a damage. Now we disconnected the switch. So this system is isolated from the energize system and we can do the maintenance maintenance and after the maintenance we will disconnect we will remove we will connect this disconnector and we will turn on the circuit breaker in order to get supply to this transformer so this will make the system easier now let us understand how many types of ring main units available based on the insulation provided on the circuit breaker as i told you 
the ring main unit is supplying power to transformer. This power will be supplied through the circuit breaker and through the disconnector. Disconnectors. Okay. So this circuit breaker, how it is based on that there is three RMU. One is air insulated ring main unit. Another one is oil insulated ring main unit and third one is gas insulated ring main unit. What does it mean? As we know, the circuit breaker is an on load device, on, on load device. Okay. So we have to turn off the circuit breaker when there is a current. You know, as we will turn on and turn off any of the circuit breaker during uh, power is running, then there, during turning on and during turning off time, there is a arc formation. And if the current rating is higher and higher, in, in our case, it can go to 800, uh, 8000 ampere and more than this. So this ampere of current, if we will turn on and turn off the circuit breaker, there will be a huge arc formation which can lead to fire. So this arc formation need to be quenched. We need to be eliminated from the system. This can be done through the insulation provided in the circuit breaker. That is the first is air insulation, second one is oil insulation and third one is some special gas is coming like SF6 gas which is quenching this arc during turning on and turning off the circuit breaker at on load condition. So based on the insulation inside the circuit breaker there is three RNU, air insulated, oil insulated and gas insulated. Hope you are very clear. Based on the number of feeders, there are two type of RMU. One is TRM and one is QRM. TRM stand for triangular ring main unit and QRM stand for quadrilateral ring main unit. As I told you, this ring main unit have one disconnector from one side, another disconnector from another side and one arrangement of disconnector and circuit breaker which will be connected to transformer. So this have three points connection. One, two, one, two and three. So this is triangular, triangular ring main unit. Suppose we have four points of connection. One is the disconnector here. One is the another disconnector here. So the power supply will come from previous ring main unit to here and it will pass the power supply to other ring main unit from here. So there is two disconnector switch here and there is two arrangement of disconnector and circuit breaker to feed to transformer. Okay, two transformers. So there is four number of supply uh, connection point one, two, three and four. In that case, this type of RMU is called quadrilateral ring main unit as there is four point of connection. Hope you are very clear with this. This is the front view of the PRM, which is one of the type of RMU. Okay, here there is three power cable one, two and three. 1 and 3 is receiving the power from previous RMU and supplying the power to the next RMU. And this connection is going to transformer, corresponding transformer. I hope you clearly understand what is RMU and how the RMU will be useful to provide the uninterrupted power supply in the distribution network and also it will provide a safe path for the maintenance. Moreover to that, in next video, I will discuss about the different component of the RMU in full detail. Moreover to that, I will discuss about how to do the connection and disconnection of the RMU with the distribution network. As it is not easy because we are handling much higher voltage for in some cases 33 kilo volt, some cases 11 kilo volt. So we have to know how to do the connection and disconnection of the RMU with the distribution network during normal condition and as well as during the fault condition. If you really like this video, then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in any of other video. Till then, take care, keep learning and bye-bye. Thank you so much.